more bad news for DAZN. Another fight called off post-pandemic. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, head over to the Patreon link in the description, sign up, or become a YouTube channel member by hitting the Join button. I got the YouTube group sessions we're doing. They're fun. So if you want to be a part of the extended Eagles Army family, things like that, you know where to sign up. Now, another fight is off. Bad news for DAZN. Link in the description. Amanda Serrano says Katie Taylor fight is now off. Explains why. Says Amanda Taylor, the nine-time world champion in seven weight classes of Puerto Rico, was scheduled to fight for the undisputed 135-pound champion Katie Taylor since last year however due to differences in negotiations the mega fight won't take place says quote on four occasions amanda has signed on for the fight said serrano's manager trainer she has signed a fight in late 2019 in new york but taylor opted to move up and wait then we accepted for the fight in 2020 in the same city but taylor's team thought that they needed more time to train and it was moved to may 2nd in england but then a month and a half later, COVID pandemic came in and it was moved to the 4th of July. All this accepting a purse not up to par with the magnitude for this fight. But since Amanda wants to make history for Puerto Rico, we happily accept it. Now they're offering us the fight for August, but removing almost 50% of Amanda's purse. However, they are taking less from Taylor. We understand there's a situation around the world with the 19 and there are changes in the boxing platform, but big fights are big fights. Many important fights are delayed until fans can come back to the event. If we accept this new offer, we'd be creating a new negative precedent in female boxing after so many women have worked so hard to heighten the level of the sport. Serrano believes that by November or December of last year, the 35-pound belts would be parading around the streets in the island of Puerto Rico. But Taylor moved up. Currently, I'm being offered a very... This is what she said. Currently, I'm being offered a very low purse as if I was starving to death. Throughout my career, I've sacrificed earnings to stay active in boxing. But now my achievements speak for themselves and I'm staying firm. Her trainer reiterated, Amanda's contract with promoter Lou DiBella expires soon. We hope they do their job because boxing needs this fight. And if we have to wait, we wait. Amanda is a WBO world champion at 126, an interim WBC world champion. There are good unification bouts in Amanda's weight class that could be made in the meantime. Wow. The DAZN curse continues. Listen, how does DAZN have so many fights and it's the same issue? Money, uh, you know the fight falling apart for one reason or another a lot of times money at the at the end of the day you got to pay like you weigh the beginning of this article is very telling the very first sentence actually says amanda serrano the nine time world champion in seven weight classes she's a, a seven weight their men don't even do that pacquiao is the only one that really damn near did that moved up more in eight weight classes so she's balanced through uh seven weight classes and she wants to get paid accordingly for a mega fight. Now, his own reporter, Chris Mannix, he responded to this. And looks like they're trying to do damage control. But either way, it doesn't help the fight not happening. That's the, the biggest, you know, the biggest thing. Says Lou DiBella, who promotes Amanda Serrano, tells Sports Illustrated there was no request of a 50% cut. Says Eddie Hearn can't care to uh, so i'm assuming this is came meant to put came to him about amanda taking a pay cut but serrano's team declined before they even got to talk numbers so this is interesting because he says luda bella serrano's trainer or excuse me promoter said there was no request of 50 percent. and in the article he's saying that they wanted they were talking about half so i don't understand why the trainer would just make that up you know but it says Eddie Hearn came to Amanda about taking a pay cut. So the bottom line, 
you know, they're they're trying to send, I guess, a disowned reporter in there to create like a damage control fluff piece. But the bottom line is post pandemic businesses have been hit. It's a big fight. It's an undisputed unification. And she's staying firm with how much money she wants. She felt she was already getting lowballed to begin with. That's what the article says. If you re if you reread it, link will be in the description. Right. It says she did it to like she took the deal to, you know, it says, look, accepting a person not up to par with the magnitude of this fight before the pandemic, you know, so they were willing to accept something that they didn't feel was up to par. But since Amanda wants to make ha history, we happily accept it. So the bottom line, whether it's 50, 45 percent, 40 percent, whatever that they're trying to clean up now this has been confirmed by both parts see this is how you have to do like judge judy or something you have to look at what both people are saying and things like that and see who's lying and, and things like that and like just look at read between the lines so the bottom line is amanda serrano's team came out with the article and then they sent a disowned reporter to set release this tweet and the common denominator is eddie hearn came to amanda about taking a pay cut so from both teams they're acknowledging a pay cut so that's really all that needs to be said whether it's 50 percent 40 percent 10 percent they're asking her to take less money so herein lies the problem she thought the deal that she took initially was a raw deal but she was willing to do it for the chance at the belts and a chance at history and to uplift the the women's boxing but all things considered that didn't happen with the pandemic with the rona and it sounds like now you're coming you're like double backing and saying hey we'll reschedule the fight but we want to give you even less money so i can understand how that would be a problem you already thought you were getting lowballed and then they're coming back and trying to take more another thing that's interesting this report from the disowned reporter says serrano's team declined before they even got to talk numbers but then he sent a follow-up tweet and it says my understanding is that the package for amanda serrano would still be well over two hundred thousand dollars to fight taylor so how is it a disowned reporter knows how much money she would be getting but then in his his tweet the first tweet it says Serrano's team declined before they even got to talk numbers. So that's just weird. So they didn't talk numbers, but you know the numbers. But uh, allegedly, Amanda Serrano's team don't know the numbers, you know? And again, I, like a lot of people try to play semantics. He says there was no request of a 50% cut. But if you look at the article, it didn't say it was 50% exactly. It says it was almost, look, it says now they're offering now they're offering us the fight in august but removing almost 50 percent so to be honest that could be semantics because he admitted that it was almost 50 percent this tweet says oh they didn't request a 50 percent cut so that could technically be true but what if it's 48 percent again these are semantics so we got to go back to the basics what we do know is you're saying that there was a pay cut involved which is what she's saying end of story period so another horrible look for disown they're uh, charging twenty dollars a month or whatever the situation is and the fights aren't getting done simply put and you got to pay like you weigh that's what it is you got to pay like you weigh she's worked hard look she in shape right now you know and it's a big fight for women's um sports for undisputed but you don't want to pay like why is it always an issue with with paying people on the zone like I, I haven't seen charlo and gervonta davis and david benavidez and errol spence and sean porter all danny garcia all these guys complaining about their purse the other thing that's interesting about the, the zone reporter's tweet is it says the package for serrano would still be well over two hundred thousand to fight taylor so let me get this straight. Ryan Garcia, also on the zone, is complaining that he's gonna fight, like the zone wanted him to fight on Fourth of July, and they only offered him two hundred thousand. So you mean to tell me Ryan? It's just this is so messy. What the zone's doing, right? 
Ryan Garcia, all the interest that he generates, you know, at least on social media and things like that, women's boxing we know has been disproportionately um, not comparable to men's combat sports, right? And Ryan's arguing over the same thing. He said he got lowballed. So how how are they all these articles about the zone fighters and they're they're worried about their pay? They don't feel like they're being compensated. I mean, this is just getting ridiculous. There's there's another one with Chocolatito. Um, where's where's the search button? Hold on. Let me see if I can search. Okay. Chocolatito. Dazone got to figure this out. Eddie Hearn claims that they had a billion dollar war chest. Look, this was just the other day. Estrada's promoter holds nose at Chocolatito's financial demands. Chocolatito has openly demanded more than a million dollars for his rematch with Estrada. If he doesn't receive that sum, he warns that a fight with Estrada will not happen. See that? I mean, it's just you have a, a paid you have a paid site like a paid subscription company, and it's just nonstop. Look, Hooker Program. This is all in a week's time. All these articles and all these things. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find it quickly. I don't even know where to begin with all this. It's just, it's, it's far too much. Look, here's one. Regis Prograde is in doubt. So June 16th. The fight got canceled. So how many fights are going to get canceled with zone? Ryan don't want to fight 4th of July. He says, look, Eddie Hearn writing books and stuff. Ryan don't want to fight in July. Said he's being underpaid for his brand. Amanda Serrano, she said, I'm in a, a huge unti uh, undisputed fight. I'm not being compensated. They're saying Canelo and Billy Joe Saunders is not likely anymore. You know, this pandemic it looks like it's, it's doing a number on them. Let me know what you guys think. Another fight getting canceled. We'll see how this plays out for DAZN. It could be why Eddie Hearn and DAZN are so quiet right now. We'll see. Sign up for ESPN Plus below. The link is in the description. There's a ton of content, archive fights. They have original shows, exclusives, shows like Details and much more docu series they got a bruce lee one lance armstrong dennis rodman if you want to sign up click the link in the description espn plus get it as a standalone or you can bundle the espn plus hulu and disney plus all three apps one price 12.99 bad look for the zone let me know what you guys think another fight down the tubes pandemic's hitting them hard as i predicted ego stradamus strikes again so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.